All right, good afternoon. Here is your forecast for Libra. Now the spring season is here, everyone, and we have a full moon in Libra on April 5th and 6th at 12.34 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So the West Coast, you guys receive this moon at about 9.34 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on April 5th. Now the moon has many titles. This, this moon in particular has been given many titles. It's been called the pink moon, the egg moon, fish moon, sprouting grass moon. Now this full moon is all about welcoming the springtime, planting a few seeds and watching them grow. This is also what I prefer to call this moon my own for my own self is the pink moon because of the pink hue that you usually see during this full moon period and this reminds me of the stone that's used for peace and harmony universal love self-love and unconditional love libra is balanced um and harmonious and combined with her ruling planet venus goddess of love she is in charge these next few weeks. So think of the pink moon. Think of rose quartz. Okay. I always, every year, think of this. All right. This full moon in Libra is all, all about diplomacy, uh, legal news, indecisiveness can come with this energy as well. But it's also about balance, harmony, bringing things to fruitation and completion and bringing the darkness to light. This full moon is illuminated by an Aries Taurus sun, bringing a balance between fire and air, but also a double Venus energy too. This energy also represents partnerships, alliances, contracts, justice, law, and the balance of the scales, of course. And many of us will be experiencing endings within our own domestic and business life. The key is to keep things balanced and harmonious as possible. Do not sign contracts, travel, or start up any new projects at this time. Libra full moons are usually around the time of the spring equinox or the fall equinox, depending on uh, what part of the world you're in. And brings with it an energy once again these are the key words for the next two weeks brings with it an energy of balance and harmony within ourselves and what humans desire cosmically all air signs will feel this energy the most so all my libras aquarius and gemini's but also aries sun as well but also those souls born with a moon rising dragon's head or tail in Libra, you will also feel this energy very strongly. Many of us are going to relate more to those closest to us. Many of us will focus on emotional, the emotional side of things that bring insight into situations. We must keep this energy balanced. And that means that the news will become very depressing and it will take a toll on most of our psyche. I'm not suggesting that we all bury our heads in the sand, but do step away from negative rhetoric and media. The scales must remain, remain balanced or we will feel that ungrounded energy. We must all try to remain strong these next few weeks because a Mars Venus Aries Libra energy, there will be a battle between war and peace. And let's not forget that we have a Pluto in Aquarius creating revolutionary times. There's, there is also a Mercury going retrograde this month in Taurus. This will create scenarios with the banking industry, finances, wealth, love and romance, and a final financial reset that is upon us. There will be chaos these next few weeks with the economy. And I've warned everyone many, many times, many months ago that April and May will be bad, but June and July aren't looking too much better either. These next four months are going to be gnarly. On a more positive note, try 
and focus on on self love helping our loved ones and friends and also taking the time for spiritual enlightenment meditation and balance from within libra does rule the seventh house of marriage partnerships sharing and sharing so couples that have been married or in a relationship for many years this is going to be the time to state your grievances and work on making that marriage better through you know give and take and of course good communication if it's meant to be you will get through this rough patch okay just remember that now my magical folk libra full moons which is also the pink moon will be all about spell work for justice court cases marriage partnerships mental enhancement and spiritual and emotional balance as well rituals for health issues of the kidneys and lower back will have power too i include this spell every year for the libra full moon so enjoy um, i usually post it on patreon in honor of the pink moon and a hint to embrace the energy of rose quartz which represents universal love tranquility feelings of peace harmony friendship internal healing and self-love light a pink candle anoint it with blessing oil a sage oil or a harmony oil libra oil is perfect if you're looking for a harmony oil you can even call upon archangel jophiel to help with guidance to help with balance and harmony burn incense like a rose incense or like a rose oil to, to correlate with what you want to bring into your life and give strength to the personal power within yourself help manifest it for you and for those you care about say a prayer for loved ones family friends and yourself ask for universal healing more love and compassion for yourself for others and absolutely for the world at large this world needs more compassion and kindness okay so these next few weeks are going to be a cosmic battle between peace and war violence and passiveness mars will be fighting with his sister venus and the energies will all make many of us feel completely unhinged and, uns and scattered and then i do not know how to sugarcoat this so i'm not these next three weeks will be hard on all americans most of you out there do not have any idea what is about to happen and what is actually taking place behind the scenes within your banking industry the economy and the future of their people i, I will repeat myself again get your money out of the banks and into assets before it is too late and on an, on a side note here our media our our media i don't care whether it's fox msnbc has completely failed you okay while we're our media is focusing on Donald Trump and that and distracting you with that. There are other issues going down in the news that are not being reported on. Because please remember, billionaires are the ones who control your media. And those who can, those who control your media are able to control the people. And that's who controls the money. It's all a vicious circle. Now, this platonic phase that takes place in April, I can't give you the dates. You can get them on Patreon for five bucks a month. It's going to be bad, and I'm not going to sugarcoat this either. Shit is going to hit the fan over Easter weekend. Expect a very violent week ahead and stay away from large crowds and protests as many are going to lose their life in this energy. Do not, I repeat, do not go protesting this weekend. It will not turn out well. Now, as we go forward, it will be imperative that you follow the green and red lights of the stars. The Libra moon energy will make us feel a little reclusive. And that might be just what 
we spiritually sensitive souls need, remember, it is time to focus on your needs, the immediate families as well. There is nothing wrong with being the hermit these next few weeks to gain serenity, harmony, retrospect, and grounding. You don't have to stop living, though. Just know the days of caution and work around it. And once again, days of caution for $5 a month. You can join Patreon and get those days of caution. All right, and I'm just going to end this now and wishing you all a very blessed full moon and a wonderful and safe two weeks ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, a little short and sweet today. Those who follow me on TikTok know what's going on in my life. <coughs> so I had to get this out before the full moon. And tomorrow night I will be live with the Herb Witch. And we're going to be talking about um, the junk that is in our American food supply. And what why it's not allowed in other countries. We're going to talk about that. It will be a good two-hour broadcast um, about 6 p.m. Pacific and 8 up clock central so keep it tuned and tune in tomorrow evening all of you out there wishing you a blessed full moon be safe bye-bye